codes. Yeah, it's 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 the the born the born ignorancy or something. I don't know. <laughs> and like you said, that, those those numbers could have been they could have been the code for an Xbox game or something. Yeah, yeah, it could have been totally. They put it in their Xbox, and suddenly they've got like I don't know what what are you kids playing infinite today? lives? And I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but no. So so uh, and John Malkovich tells him he's like, look, you don't know how deep you're getting into this, and they really don't. And of course, this all leads to. Uh, secrets being revealed, uh, 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 insanity, death. It's just a big mess that that's created. Yeah, but not in a depressing way. This is not one of those films that like is funny in parts at, like Fargo, and then at the end you're like, oh man, that was dark as hell. No, this is actually can you know even when there's people being brutally murdered, it's still kind of funny because uh, the way everything comes together. I like that convolutism of it, the how complex it is, how it's like you've got to keep track of all these different threads. Yeah. But I know that's something that didn't do much for you. No, I look, I I, I know I was, I was saying that I don't probably get it or understand it. I understood where all this was going. The reason why, look, the Corn Brothers are, are directors where they can either make oddities in people or strange characters work and make them endearing and fun or even dangerous, whatever. It, what, it, they can make them work to their advantage. And something like this it seems like they try too hard and not only was it did they did they try too hard with the characters but the all these plot lines that are happening they just seem like uh they were kind of everywhere at first and then they really tried hard to make them fit together i mean the puzzle was already done i'm left with two pieces like what am i gonna do with this uh one of those plot lines being someone like george clooney everybody in this movie i think gave a great performance except for brad pitt who i thought was great in his role but was a little over directed really see being the gay guy i would have said francis mcdormand was even more extreme in her character than than uh than um uh, brad pitt was but really this is one of those films where everybody in it is really exaggerated Mm -hmm. people uh it's it's a fantasy universe and that's how they like to do comedies it's it's so close to ours and yet everything is kind of heightened uh they throw in lots of weird quirks for people that don't have anything to do with anything, and I know that bugs the shit out of some people, and other people like me love it. I think that's characters with depth. They're more funny, they're more interesting. Like, yeah. like I always say, the, the famous George Clooney line from uh, Oh Brother Art Thou, my hair! What does that have to do with anything? And, yeah, yet, no, and yet, it's this running thing through the movie. No, there were some... See, that's, that's why I'm not trying... To, I don't want to come down too hard on the movie, because the actors, I mean, pulling them out the, out the story or out the convoluted plot... They had funny dialogue, and they were funny themselves. I mean, even as overdirected, I thought Brad Pitt might have been. I still thought he was—he had some very funny lines. Well, he's playing it like a twelve-year-old girl who likes boy bands, essentially. Yeah, you know? I mean, he even kind of looks like one. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, like I said, I was looking at him, and I thought I, I'd swear that he was channeling the, the the spirit of some dead twelve year old annoying annoying ass chick. Yeah, which so, which one? The one for you killed last week? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill them. I just found the bodies. And, <laughs> but no, come on. No, I it's uh no, I I really do think that uh, it, this there's an audience for this movie, and those are the people who are used to seeing what the Corn Brothers do. And there's some people who think that they cannot do any wrong. And then there's some people like me who say, well, it's either hit hit or miss. And this one, while not totally off the mark, is just something that I will forget very soon. See, even the biggest Coen Brothers fans admit that not all their films are perfect. In fact, at least two of their films are downright bad. But uh, generally speaking, they've got a better track record than any directors ever. And, and there's geeks for Coen Brothers, and there's people who just like like some of their movies. And I'm a geek for them. I'm one of those guys. I think they're geniuses, arguably the best directors in Hollywood right now. But, uh, you know, this, while it's not up there with Fargo and Raising Arizona and The Big Lebowski and what have you, or Blood Simple, uh, it's, it's you know, about like the Hudsucker Proxy. It's a really funny comedy mm-hmm. uh, that is ultimately going to be forgettable in the long run, but it's certainly not anywhere near their worst films either. I mean, I laughed all the way through this film. I I, I, I wasn't laughing like Bo laughing, but, you oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it, it. No, it was uh, a <clears throat> no. It, it it's not a waste at all. I mean, like no. I said, I, I had a good time while I was in there. I just will not walk away with anything. So I'm I'm giving this a rental. Wow, that's low. Okay, really? That's not low. Come on, man. Well, that's it. one below the bottom. What? Oh, except now I forgot. There's the fuck you review. Okay, I, that's, <laughs> that's right. I actually, but I didn't mean to create that. And I would never give this movie a gigantic fuck you. No, it's uh, rental's not always bad. You you look, you take it home, you watch it, and you say, hey, that was. 
I was pleased watching that. I'm glad I didn't see it in the theater, but I was happy watching it here. No, you're right, except it is bad in this case because you're completely wrong. This is see, a full go, price man. movie. This is, I mean, it's going to be a slow start to the fall. Let's face it. Have you seen the schedule? Shit, it's going to be a slow start. We got James Bond drinking Coke Zero instead of martinis now. <laughs> I mean, come on. What are we supposed to do with this fall? But this is a strong start to it. This is a fun movie of everything playing in the theaters. If you haven't already seen Dark Knight twice, by all means, go out and see this. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I can't say I regretted going to see, see it in the theater one bit. Even though I didn't pay anything for it, I would have. And you would have paid full price. I would have paid full price. Uh, like, hey, I would actually like to see your broke ass be be prompted to pull out your wallet and pay for this movie. I, I bet you would say matinee at least. I'll go sell my Amazing Spider-Man issues and no problem. I'll, I'll make <laughs> okay, the money. Okay, now I know you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you and comic books. Yeah, that's that's your girlfriend these days. Yeah, that's true. But luckily, like, nowadays, I wonder why those uh, Spider-Man comics are stuck together over there. <laughs> luckily, you can buy like Witchblade and shit like that, and it's pretty much like a girlfriend. Okay, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Now, now you know what. It, it, didn't you say speaking of spider-man didn't you mention this is this is this is kind of an aside here didn't you mention that the they uh suck now the, no no <laughs> that uh sam raimi who directed the spider-man movies didn't you say that uh the corn brothers used to uh kind of work with him no i never said no, that i'm just kidding i just said this i wanted to see i was man. like i'm not that drunk uh, uh, <laughs> which is to say he's a little drunk um but uh yes the rain Ra- sam raimi and the coen brothers and bruce campbell all went to film school together which the name of the school is actually escaping me right now but it's easily found out it's you know this is information i think it's even on their imdb profile uh and it's they do technical work on each other's films if you look in the credits often you'll see raimi and some minor thing in the coen brothers films and vice versa especially in the earlier films for both of them in fact uh uh bruce campbell does like you know, really blink and you miss some cameo appearances in quite a few of the the Coen Brothers films. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, the my favorite one is in Fargo when the one guy, the Swedish guy, I forget the actor's name, is just watching the TV in the cabin, not paying attention attention to anything Steve Buscemi's doing, and it's some bad soap opera, and you can only hear it, and then you see it for like a second. And it's Bruce Campbell. And it's Bruce Campbell, and this whole time in the whole scene, Bruce Campbell's talking in the background in this made up <laughs> soap opera that they filmed. No, that's 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 cool. They all went to film school together, so so. They all kind of like worked on each other's projects early on and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, no, they they most certainly did, and it's so weird because there couldn't be more different, really. I mean, can you imagine the Coen Brothers Spider Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I could. It's all in black and white. Instead of fighting like Spider Man and, and Venom, are sitting there having coffee, working out their problems over a conversation. Yeah, most yeah. likely. Well, it'd just yeah, be know. really, really complicated too. It'd be like even at the end, you know, they'd be like, "Hey, did you hear? Spider Man beat the bad guy, and the right, but unfortunately, the bad guy killed his girlfriend. Wow, that was that was cool. It's too bad they didn't actually show it on screen." <laughs> yeah no it's uh <laughs> yeah it'll be like no country for old man we'll we'll hear about like a big battle but yeah. you know you won't see it, it at it'll all. build up to this thing like dun 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 and the next scene are two old dudes in a park talking going well <laughs> as you get older you start to discover that life is it's complex it's like a desert it must have felt kind of like that when Spider-Man beat the Green Goblin. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you're right. Venom's up there with bad haircut. Yeah, and all that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's uh no, that's, I I never knew that fact. I, I yeah? that's that's pretty cool. I puts a whole new spin on some of their stuff, really. No, it doesn't. Oh, and doesn't make this movie any better. Dun, so dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so uh, anything else? Uh, no, I don't no. have anything particular. All right, good all evening. Right, except sir. you're wrong. 